Jerry left the WWF in 94 after Vince was exonerated. He simply couldn't keep up with workaholic Vince's schedule either. He would then get paid as a creative consultant by WCW for years, and they never took any of his ideas, but he still faxed his ideas in every single week anyway. In 2000, Jerry and some investors went to Turner with a $20 million offered to buy WCW, but was not even considered. McMahon, early next year, would buy the company for $2.5 million. Uh, But he founded TNA, uh, as I said before, with Jeff Jarrett and Bob Ryder, and TNA almost immediately was in the red uh, because they would... I think they needed something like 50,000 buys a week to uh, with these weekly pay-per-views and by week three they were making something like eight to ten thousand we will get into that another time uh with jerry uh, he remained with tna until 2005 after falling out with jeff over creative direction and jeff picking vince russo to book tna because mm-hmm. uh, jeff was in charge over jerry to book the company jerry appeared in a wwe article claiming to have discovered vladimir kozlov uh, so maybe he was an undercover TNA agent, you know, <laughs> foisting Vladimir Kozlov on the WWE. And that became the final straw and he was let go by TNA. So 2005, when did you notice that Jerry maybe wasn't around as much or he was getting disenfranchised with TNA or he's been left out in the cold or arguing more? When do you notice these things? I went there in, <clears throat> when did they found the company? 2002? Two, I think, yeah. I went there in 2003 and he never came around. And I heard bits and pieces of here and there. I thought Jerry just separated himself. Vince Russo was there, who was another target of Jerry's. And he hated Vince Russo. And I don't know if Vince hated him or not, but and it wasn't personal. It was always business, I would imagine. But he thought Vince's booking style was hit or miss, and it was like throwing darts at a at a board, hoping you hit something. Because when you when you try to work an angle, you got to be able to explain this angle to your creative team members. That's why I never like to be on a creative team, because now half of them are damn near marks that should have been still buying a ticket. And I, I sat down one day at a table at TNA, and this was uh, years later. They had some son of a bitch sitting there, like 22 years old, that was damn taken out trash the week before. And all of a sudden, they moved him on the creative team because he said something to Dixie like he would like to help create stuff. Well, she just moved him in there. And we started the meeting, and I was trying to catch him up on what I, uh, we were doing. And he said, well, let me ask something. And I said, well, wait, let me ask you something. Who in the fuck are you first? <laughs> I didn't even know his name. He was just sitting there. He said, oh, I'm I'm so-and-so. I said, where'd you come from? Oh, I was working. He wasn't really cleaning up the place, but he was working in. He was an aide. He was an assistant. I said, and what qualifies you to be in here? Well, you know, I've watched wrestling all my life. I said, I've watched goddamn football, too. Don't mean I can coach football team. So, listen. Next time you bring, and I actually put him in his place to show everybody else that I take it seriously and don't bring in some jack off off the street who doesn't know more than the people sitting at home to ask me questions around a table with my people I work with. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the question, but Jerry wasn't there. If Jerry had heard that, he would have went through the roof. Now, I do remember talking about Jerry. One time, we used to do the pay-per-view on Wednesday night in Nashville at the old fairgrounds, and they'd have about, I don't know, 400 people there, maybe. And But one night, Jerry, he had a health scare. He went to the hospital, and his Heart rate was over 200. So he dodged the bullet then, and then he came back, and the doctor put him on some medicine, and and then he wasn't – he really wasn't wasn't looking good then. And this was like, I don't know, 20 years ago. 
but he got better and actually he started looking better. And I think he started working out, but hell, we could have, he could have had a heart attack 20 some odd years ago, because I remember they called the ambulance for him and everything took him out. But, with um with Jerry leaving in two thousand five, as I mentioned before, WWE dot com article and uh, it you know made waves within TNA, and that was what it was designed to do. Do you remember? Do you remember hearing this article where Jerry Jarrett is now sort of appearing in WWE, and he's basically doing it just to wind up everybody in TNA? <laughs> yeah, I heard about it. I liked it, to tell you the truth, because he had put money in. TNA and Jeff had to, but he wanted to get his money back and he wanted Jeff to go with him. But Jeff had a different mindset because I don't think Jeff would have gotten his money back as much as he'd put in it. I don't know, but he was going to end up losing money. And he didn't want to lose money. I don't blame him. I think Jerry had money. I mean, that if he even lost what he'd put in it, it, it wasn't going to set him back that much. And that was what formed the uh, the disagreement between Jeff and Jerry. And I hated to think that money could drive them apart, but it did. And also, it was Jeff's, uh, insistence or agreement to use Vince because Jeff hated him. And I don't know if Jerry wanted to be the booker or not, or he wanted Jeff to be the booker or me to be the booker or whatever. But he said anybody but Vince Russo. So, I mean, I always got along with Vince, but Jerry didn't. And he's one of the types that he liked everybody except certain ones like Bruce and Vince and and they got all of his all of his bad side. I think uh we should just say I know you mentioned this beforehand but uh after about 10 years estrangement Jerry and Jeff get over it. I think yep. it's when Jeff started really not liking Vince Russo either and then it's like ah I see what you're saying now. And then they sort of reconciled over that uh commonality. 